Okay, so I've already uh, I've closed kind of everything. I've, I've done the Mickey thing once. I'm going to actually open that back up from my computer. Uh, this is a nice way for me to check that I actually saved it the way I wanted it to. Um, and, uh, oh, one thing I just realized. Sometimes if you don't add the dot .png after the end here, depending on your computer, sometimes it might not do that. And uh, it may kind of not know what kind of file it is. So sometimes you might need to... To add that, uh, I noticed that with the Chromebook some. Um, I think my I'm on a I'm on a PC right now and it worked fine. But sometimes it doesn't look like a ping because I it doesn't automatically put the .png at the end. So something you might have to do. Uh, so I'm just going to open that up. Um, okay, see I can see transparent background. So maybe I actually uh, want to put something on the background and, and maybe I want to um, uh, or put some labels on here. So uh, I can easy enough uh, put a label in there and say, well, this is uh, Mickey. And I can change the uh, size if I want to or things like that. I'm just, that's fine. I'm going to say OK. Now what you'll notice is over here, I now have a layer called Mickey. What this does is anytime you add something to this, it typically creates a new layer, which is really nice because it means uh, that your individual things, you're not messing with them. Um, you're not, uh, especially like if you, you can do things where it looks like you erase things, but you haven't. So it's just something to be aware of, and, and usually it's very helpful. Um, and, I'll, and I'll show you in a minute why it's helpful. So I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to add another. Uh, uh, so I'm still in the type tool over here. So I'm going to do this for Pluto, except I'm going to change the color. Now this is a little weird. I'm going to have to do this. So I have to both have to pick the color, and then I have to say I want that version of the color. I'm going to do that. I think that'll change it to kind of a yellowish color. Let's say Pluto. Now, uh, in fact, you may not even be able to see that um, in the recording. It says Pluto there. It's in yellow. It's super hard to see. Uh, even if I make this background white, um, it would still be hard to see. Um, so one of the tricks here, so if I've done that, uh, if you uh, double click or two finger click over here, uh, or sorry, right click or two finger click and you do layer styles. One of the options is this thing called outer glow. And this does exactly what you think it does. It puts a little glow around it. So now you can kind of see Pluto much better now. Um, and I can now um, put, uh, if I save this, it'll all be in white. Um, if I don't like where these things are, I can move these things around. I click on the move tool. I can grab Mickey. Actually, I'm, because Pluto is highlighted, that's what it's grabbing. So I can grab Pluto. If I want to grab Mickey, if I click on Mickey, I can grab Mickey and move it around. And finally, if I wanted to put some kind of background on this, and I'm doing this kind of on the fly here, so if it blows up, um, it's not my fault. Um, I'm going to do draw, and it won't let me. Maybe if I do a new layer. And I may decide that I don't want to do this at all. Let's see if I can draw a new layer. Okay, this has actually created this black behind here. And, and notice where, see these layers, that's where things are. So if I want to get this underneath, I need to drag this layer three. I'm off script now. This is not in my instructions. I just want to show you how this works. What did I just do? Did I just delete that? Oh, I didn't want to delete the layer. Uh, I'm gonna, um, I want to drag it down if I can. Really off. Oh, I've got everything selected. And I just accidentally made a copy. Okay. And I don't know why this is not working. Oh, there we go. Clicking with too many fingers. Um, all right. Ideally, I should be able to drag that layer underneath. I'm going to try it one more time. I'll drag this down one. Okay, now it's under Mickey. Mickey, I can't see because it's black, but if I drag it down one more. Okay, now I got all this. And maybe that's what I want, maybe I don't. But, uh, and now what you're going to notice if I save it now, there's two ways I might want to save it. First of all, if I'm not done here yet, I actually want to keep these layers. So when I save it, um, I might want to save it as a PXD. PXD literally is a, it's a Pixlr specific format, which will keep all the layers. 
So maybe that's what I want to save it as. So if I say OK, uh, I can call it. It's not transparent anymore. It's Mickey with layers, because maybe I'm still working. In fact, I'll say still working. And say OK. But if I'm done, I'm like, hey, I really like this. I like the back black background. Oh, I actually don't like the black background, because I can't see Mickey anymore. So I'm going to delete that. Yeah, all that work. OK. I got Mickey and Pluto, so I'm going to do a file, save. I'm very happy with that, but I actually want to save it uh, so it's a JPEG, but I can use it. It'll automatically default to white, so this thing will be white in the background, and I'll say OK. And I'm going to say Mickey solid, save. Now here, it still looks like this, but if I go up yeah, and open that Mickey Solid, uh, where is Mickey Solid? There it is. If I open that, okay, so look what it looks like now compared to the other, which, oops, and now I'm just clicking on things randomly. Um, anyway, I think that's enough. Uh, good luck.